Thomas the Tank Engine of France, Wooden Railway Adventure, Episode 40, Runaway at the Runway. Special thanks to, special thanks to Thomas Wooden Railway for this episode's title. It was a wonderful day. Hold on, I'm on the cell door. Percy was in his shed with all the other engines. But there was one thing problem with Gordon. Gordon came out of his tunnel. Oh, drive her, said Gordon. I need to get out of here. Not now, said the driver. Soon. Scarlowy was puffing over. He was coming over to come and get He was coming over to go and talk to Gordon. Just talking to Gordon right now. Gordon, said Scarlowy. What do you want from me? Said Gordon. Well, I'm just trying to, you know, tell you something. Well, it better be important, said Gordon. It's... Everything's important, said, said Scarlowy. Well, alright, what do you want to tell me, said Gordon. Well, I just wanted to tell you that. Would you like to pull some troublesome trucks? Gordon's eyes popped. No, no way, said Gordon. All right, said Scarlet, and walked away. Ugh, <sighs> time for me to get out of here. He huffed away. Soon, Thomas was on his branch line. He was huffing down... He soon he saw a sign that he hadn't been on in a long time. But that would just make him go around in circles. And Thomas did not want to do that. And Thomas did not want to do that. But he wanted, he hasn't been over there in a long time. So he decided to do it. But as soon as Thomas did that, there's something trouble that was coming. Because the troublesome trucks that were on Henry's that was on Henry's that was on Henry's back there came loose. But Thomas did not know that. Thomas was enjoying himself.
soon, Thomas was on his way. But there's something that he did not know. He stopped at the signals and he took off his coaches and left them on the side. said Henry. The trucks were going away. The trucks were coming up fast. They were going really fast, by the way. But Thomas was sitting, was sitting around doing his stuff. What he wanted to do. But a track had broken because the troublesome trucks hit under the bridge. And they didn't care about anything in the world. They were just troublesome. Thomas was going down the line as soon as he saw the trucks. Ah, said Thomas. He ran as fast as he could. Oh no, said Thomas. He ran right through a crane. The crane broke. But there um, for, but luckily there was some tracks under it. Thomas was running down the line. Said Thomas, dead end. The truck soon came. They're going faster than lightning. Whoosh. They couple up to Thomas, and then there was a tree on the side of it. Of the tracks. Then there was another tree on the tracks. Soon the track fell down and it landed on the tree. And then a, a tree landed on the track. And then and then a high thing came down and hit Thomas on the head. Thomas was, got very dizzy and did not know what was happening now. He slammed into a gate. They all followed Rickety. He was a troublesome one. Oh no! They yelled. Oh! Mm. What happened? Said Thomas as he just woke up. Oh! It was a big mess. It was a very terrible mess. Soon, Gordon saw the whole thing. Whoa, said Gordon's driver. That was a big crash over there. Hey, I better go in super duper fast, said Gordon, but not faster than me. Thomas just lay there for several hours. They soon got him back up on the tracks. They're 
all in the same order again. Everything was picked up. Sir Thomas took the troublesome trucks back. And this isn't why he's, and this is what he decided. Huh, Sir Thomas. I think Sir Top and Hat should make a bridge over there. So the troublesome trucks won't go up and I can go onto a mountain or somehow. And I won't crash. Just like I did. But Gordon didn't hear. But there was a still big mess. And he went down the line. But he was going down the wrong line that he was not supposed to go. Or else he would be in trouble right away. Coming in trouble very soon. And let's hope that Thomas doesn't get into another accident. Just like this one.